good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to our special council meeting set for October 23rd, 2023, 7 p.m. Good evening, council, our audience members, and the chief, and Mr. Bridge. Uh, chief, or I'm sorry, Mr. Bridge will be filling in as a clerk tonight, so if you could call roll. Councilman Cook. <laughs> Councilman Lindsay. Here. Councilman Rowald. Here. Mayor Lowry. Here. Vice Mayor Grimm. I'm here. Councilman Bond. Councilwoman Davis. Here. Mr. Mayor. Sir. Move to adjourn the meeting. This is not a legal meeting. What? This is not a legal meeting. Mm -hmm. you don't I got this agenda in the mail. It says special, City Council Special Meeting Agenda, October 23rd, 20.3 of 7 p.m. According to Charter, Section 4.12, special meetings may be held on the call of the mayor or of four or more members, and whenever practical, with no less than 12 hours written notice by the clerk of council to each council member. A mayor calls me, he did not call this meeting. We did not have a vote of four council members, and there was no notification of meeting. Now, it says on here that there are two discussion items. First uh, discussion item is a temporary budget discussion. Experience has shown me budget discussions take quite a bit of time. And then a discussion on meeting candidates for city council. We don't need to discuss it because it has already been set for 7 o'clock this evening. And there was a post on Facebook, why the McDonald's sign is on there beyond me, it's highly inappropriate. We have no business promoting or endorsing any business, especially one in Park Lane. But it says they meet the candidates night, Smith Park Shelter House, today at 7 p.m. Now, these people are here for a meet the candidates tonight. I dare say they're not going to sit and wait through a budget discussion. So we need to end this silliness and get on with the meet, meet the candidates. Any discussion, Council? Mr. Cook. In regards to the Ohio Open Meeting Act, I worry. <coughs> The Ohio Open Meeting Act declares all meetings of a public body to be public meetings open to the public at all times. It also goes on further to state that if we conduct a meeting and are so far found to be in violation of this, we are subject to a $500 fine plus attorney fees plus court costs. So consequently, I think that since we're at the point, we have in the past had a meet the canvas night without being a call meeting <laughs> by the city. However, in my estimation, questioning the council or questioning candidates by members of the public and with having council members here in the presence, I do think that we are going to be in violation of the Ohio Revised Code, the Open Meetings Act, if we do not follow their guidelines. Mr. Mayor. <laughs> <laughs> I believe all that to be immaterial because I have no idea who called this meeting. And I received no notification of it. But the Ohio meetings, uh, open meetings law states a meeting is one, a prearranged gathering, which we meet the candidates would be. Two, the majority of members of the public body. Well, we're all here, six of us are here tonight. I have no idea how many are going to stay for the meet the candidates, but if there are four, Three, who are discussing or deliberating public business, who will not be discussing or deliberating public business. The Ohio Meetings Law goes on to say a meeting does not have to be called a meeting for the OME requirements to apply if the three elements above are present. The OME requirements apply even if the gathering is called a work session. 
Then it goes on, what is discussion or deliberation of public business? Discussion or deliberation does not generally include information gathering, attending pres presentations, or isolated conversations between employees. A Meet the Candidates Night is purely and simple and information gathering. Avenue. It is not going to be a meeting. For the candidates. It's to learn about the candidates. Furthermore, if a Meet the Candidates Night is part of a city council meeting, it may tend to give preference to the two candidates who are already on council and would be to the detriment of the three candidates who are not on council. We need to be fair to everyone. Amen.
Again, the state of Ohio has regulations and special meetings. I'm just letting you know that this, this was a recommendation from our city attorney. Okay. The point. Mr. Mayor. Sir, I move to excuse Mr. Goff from this evening. Second. <coughs> motion by Mr. Lindsay, second by myself to excuse Mr. Ben Long. So, first was my I'm sorry. Mr. Lindsay. Okay. Second by myself. Thank you. Councilman Cook? Yes. Councilman Robol? Yes. Um, Councilwoman Eagleson? Yes. He was just coming down. Um, Councilman Lindsay? Yes. And Mayor Lushing? Uh, yes. Motion passes 6 0. Forgot Vice Mayor. 5 0. 5. Forgot Vice Mayor Green. 1 forgot. Vice Mayor Green? Yes. Thank you. 6 0. <clears throat> I mean, I wouldn't have, I mean, just real quick, I wouldn't have a problem going forward if maybe we could have just broke the rules and, and rotated the two and put the meet the candidates first. But I also understand what Mr. Vice Mayor said about just being a even playing field for, you know, all candidates involved. So, um, yeah, so, any motion? Yes. 